What's up traders? So we are gonna link up a trade copy today. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it with social trader tools. And I am linking up $1.2 million in funding capital that I've acquired through my Forex funds and the funded trader and how you can link the, these funded accounts together and then trade off of one, have them copy to others. This is something that you want to learn how to do. If you, if you are a, a trader and you're trying to get funded, maybe you hadn't gotten funded yet, or that's your goal, acquiring more capital like I've done over a million dollars is the game. One 1% on this is $12,000. So I'm gonna show you how I'm linking that exact amount of capital, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, how you can do it at home. So let's dive right in. All right, what's up guys? This is my social trader tools. So by the way, I'm not like doing an affiliate for them or anything like this. This is what I legitimately use and have been using for, well, years now. Uh, so we're gonna dive into this. So this is, you can see once you sign up, if you haven't signed up yet, you're gonna need to create an account. And of course you will want to go over here and profile manager. This is where you're gonna purchase the amount of, uh, how many accounts that you're gonna keep and all that good stuff. So, you know, for me, I have five accounts. So I have uh, four accounts here. I have three funded accounts, uh, the funded traders. So this is $600,000 trading account. And so you can see here, this is my live account right here. You can see this is funded 600K. So, you know, the 5% the daily loss limit on this account, by the way, is $30,000. So anyways, I'm going, uh, minimal risk and this is a game plan and that's how you win so this is one of my accounts this is going to be my master account so you need need to determine what is going to be the master account which that is the one that initiates your trades uh, I believe the the funded trader rules and well I know for a fact because I've talked and messaged them about this uh, this needs to be you know you need to be initiating trades off of their server and off their platform so this is going to be my master account and uh then i'm going to have it going to my two copier accounts so this is my forex fund this is one so i just put a label on them typically the uh you know the initials so mff1 mff2 so these are those accounts here you can see this is 600k by the way this is uh, i took some trades last night to test out the copier and uh and it's martin luther king day today so there's no volatility in the market i had my ea hooked up and it was just kind of stupid to be honest but i was like super excited to get going and i wanted to because you can get your first payout uh you have to it has to be 30 days from whenever your first trade was initiated so i wanted to go ahead and uh initiate those trades because obviously uh we want to get paid as soon as possible and that's what we're here right so this is the account details this is uh, the first funded account here. And uh, so then I also have the second account right here. And so both of these are funded, active status. And uh, so th these are my copier accounts or slave accounts or what they called. But you know, if you don't vibe with that, I feel you there. So I just call them copier accounts, right? So we got the master account here, the copier accounts here. And then I also have it hooked up to uh, FX choice account that is a personal account of mine that I'm using as a live account to, uh, well, so these are copying to a live account that I have and then also so I can track everything on uh, my FX book, right? So, uh, because once you get a payout from the funded trader and my Forex funds, you know, typically they reset the account. So uh, this way I have these funded accounts copying to my own trading account, right? So this is, this is the goal, man. This is where you want to be at. So in order to hook these up, let, let me show you here. You'd go to accounts. Super, super simple. Uh, you'll go to add account. And so here is, you know, I've already put, put them in here, but this is going to be the account name and this is going to be the account number. So whatever you want to name it, I just like something easy, simple to remember, uh, whatever the account number whatever the account password, whatever you use to log in to MT4 or MT5. Um, and then you go down here and select the broker, right? So just like you would for like MT4 terminal, click add account. 
and then that'll go through. And typically, and it'll go back to your accounts here, and it takes about four or five minutes for it to connect to the server and fully connect. So, uh, and sometimes, you know, you, you have to do it a couple of times. It, so if it doesn't go through the first time, don't like freak out or anything like that. Uh, just try it again. So I've added these accounts. I have, this is my master account here. This is my game plan, right? And uh, these are my two, my three copying accounts. And these are the funded ones. Now you can too, like say here, you could go and adjust the risk settings. And uh, so like, if you wanted it, this gets it a little more complicated. You could set this up. So like right now it's copying one to one, but if I wanted it to actually copy more or less to say my personal account here, then, you know, I can adjust the risk settings for it. So it actually copy like, you know, by 1.25% or 1.5% or even 2%. I'm not gonna take on that much risk. So I'm just copying it one to one because my game plan is, you know, I'm gonna follow the rules and be super, super uh, dialed in on my risk management because, you know, there's $1.4 million here, right? Of trading capital, right? So, um, and especially using the risk parameters of the uh, these prop firms, then why would I, <laughs> no need to be greedy at this point. Come on, people. <laughs> All right, you know what I mean? So here, so you go create copier. So this is where, so if I wanted to make a new copier, which I'm not, but like say if I go create copier, I have all of these in the account. Say I wanted, uh, this is copy from, this is the master account. So say if I'd want to go to have it copy in that FX choice account, right? So then it would be copy from, send to the, uh, you know, the funded trader. And this is what I was talking about, the multiplier. So right now I want it one to one, but if I wanted to like up the risk on it, it'd be one and a half. If I wanted to cut the risk in half, it'd be 5.5. But I'm just gonna do one to one. Like I said, nothing, no reason to overcomplicate things. So if you have trades floating, then you know you can, and you're already in the middle of them, you can go to copy existing trades, but it, look, just no FOMO, don't, you don't have to do that. There's always another trade. I'm not gonna set this up here because I already have this going, but I would just go to accept the terms and conditions, create copier and boom, it will be set up, right? So pretty cool. So now here too, you can go and uh, so this is it. It's, it's logged in. Um, there's some good, pretty good tools here too. You could go to like account statistics and say like, you know, I just, put a couple trades on last night that we're losers, right? So, but this is it. You can see the performance of everything that's going on here um, and the, the growth of that account, right? So like, um, for example, too, we could go here to uh, this FX choice, um, this account as it's been going on, but you know, it's not as in depth as something like my FX book, but it's still, it's still great, right? So here is uh, the growth percentage on that, 17%. So uh, profit and losses, balance. Now, you know, it's been a, uh, a wild ride <laughs> at a couple points. Uh, right around Christmas, I took some, took some losses and I had to pull my uh, shite together and get my head out of my behind, right? So you know what I'm saying. I had to pull it together and be like, let's stick to the game plan right and so this is what what's going on here but you can really track the performance and uh and you know the different different instruments i'm trading and you know what it is that what it is i'm doing so um so this is where it's at the analysis is a great tool to get logged into that but you know really i'm sure that what you want to do and why you're watching this video is the trade copier so super simple way to get it going and you know it's all like linked into their cloud or whatever so you just need internet access super easy to use and uh you know i've been using it for years and uh, really dialed in so let me know if you have any questions you can find me here just leave a comment below be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it if you got some value from it and if you want to learn my strategies by the way join my telegram you know there's going to be some links below and uh, i can show you the exact strategy that I use to get funded over a million dollars. So if you want to check that out, click that link below.
and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and uh, my motto for the markets, and this is the thing some, so many people try to hide information out there, but look, there's enough to go around <laughs> in, in the markets and in trading. You just gotta get dialed in on you. So let's make it happen. I appreciate y'all and I'll see y'all in the next video or I'll see you on my next live call. Peace.